There's a lot of screaming going on and stuff. Yeah, I've got little boy wire front pants. Has he been dead this whole time? Do I have a look at yourself there, Jimmy? Oh, yeah. Go on then, off you go. <laughs> Watch out, watch out, made it, made it, made it, we made it. Evening gang, or morning, or whatever, whatever the hell the time is, where you are right now. We're in London's glittering Soho, West End. So I thought I'd kick off the vlog. Interesting travel into London. Managed to pick up a homeless fella on the tube. Made a new friend. Um, there's a fella with a cup. He needed some money. I said, I don't have any cash on me because I'm one of those. And he said, well, you can go to a cash point when you get off the tube. And I get to, he had a point. The fella had a point, couldn't argue with him. He was absolutely right. So I told him where I was getting off. And he said, yeah, I'll get off with you then. I like, okay. <laughs> Managed to find a cash point. Gave him 40 quid and told him to promise me that he'd at least get something to eat because that's what I always worry about. But nice fella. Just down on his luck. Just thought I'd give him a hand. Interesting, interesting guy. But here we are, in Chinatown. I'm heading to the Garrick Theatre right now. And uh, I'm gonna go and see a play. I was in a play, um, but this is a different one. I'm gonna go and see a play this evening, The Crown Jewels. It has uh, Neil Morrissey in it, who I've just recently worked with a couple of months ago there. And a little guy you might know, called Joe Thomas. So I get to go and see Joe do his thing as well and hopefully we'll go for a pint afterwards and have a little catch up. It'd be nice to see him. I haven't seen him for ages. There's a lot of screaming. London is nuts when it gets to the evening time. It's too busy and scary. But yeah, there's a lot of screaming going on and stuff. So I'm gonna put the old phone down and just be a bit more inconspicuous. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and, uh, go and check out this play of Joe's. And Neil's. Hey gang, how's it going? It's uh, the day after. I went to see Joe and Neil in their play, which uh, was really good, lots of fun. Al Murray was great. I believe it's touring. I think it's going to a few cities in the UK. So go and check it out. What the hell is it called? The Crown Jewels. Go and check it out, it's loads of fun. Got home quite late last night. Didn't drink, I had maybe, I didn't even finish my pint because I had to get on the train, get all the way back home. I've been absolutely shattered today. Right now, I'm sat outside a laundrette because our washing machine's broken down. So that's been a whole thing. We've got a new one turning up in a little over a week, I think. We didn't bother getting it fixed. We did have someone come in and look at it, but our washing machine we've had for about 12 years now. And apparently that's good innings for a washing machine. They should just make them that they last forever. I don't know why they aren't, I don't know what this, just make one, make a washing machine go, this'll last you forever, it won't break down. Why, why we know why they won't do that. We know why. Anyway, I'm sat, Outside the laundrette, waiting for some pants to dry. All my wire fronts. I wear wire front pants, by the way, which I, yeah, it's all right. It's a bit embarrassing, sure, but you know, people nosing around, looking at what I'm, what sort of washing I've got. Oh, is that Joe from the Inbetweeners? Oh, let's see what pants he's got. Yeah, I've got little boy wire front pants. Leave me alone. Some of them are leopard print. Like Quagmire from Family Guy, all right? And if that's weird, then just call me a weirdo. No, I'm in a bit of a funny mood, uh, just because I'm really bored, really, really bored. So I thought I'd do a little piece to camera. Don't worry, Claire will be on this vlog at some point. And with the washing machine breaking down, it really has uh, clogged up the house, to be honest. We've been backed up. Um, so we didn't have, we couldn't do a vlog last week. We could have done a vlog last week. It would have been even more boring than the one you're watching now. Think about that. Think about that for a second. 
morning, it's the next day. I got my laundry done. Me and Claire are up and about. It's quite early in the morning. Today's uh, a day where we record the podcast. So we have to get up early and get ready and stuff. Because everything's on camera these days, isn't it? Even podcasts, which used to be just something that you listen to. So you have to make an effort and look good, didn't you? Mm. I woke up today. I've got a huge spot on the side of my nose. It's got a tiny little head on it, so it looks like it's ready to pop, but it won't It won't budge, and it is so painful. It's like making my eyes water. I think it's because I ate a whole packet of Cadbury's Giant Buttons about three days ago, and I think all that chocolate grease... I hope nobody's eaten your dinner. ...has, put, has worked its way into my massive nose. You're going to have to put makeup on me. Putting it on camera? Oh, I don't mind for this. They know that these guys are fine. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. These guys are all right. I'm usually in, in a basketball jersey or something whenever we vlog. Yeah. But it is so, like, really painful. You can, And it won't pop. And I can't... That's going to distract people in the podcast. And, I, and, I, and you sit that side of me. So all people will see is it. Do you want to swap sides then today? No, that will freak people out. I don't think people will care. Can you put makeup on that? Would you be able to do that? Cover that? I guess. No, I don't need a guess. I need like... But I don't want people to know I'm wearing makeup. That makes me feel a bit insecure. Well, what makes you feel more insecure? The spot or the makeup? So is that the choice? Either, well, I, either I look like I've got... Can you not put makeup... But I have makeup on when I'm acting and stuff like and that. You look, in person, you look like you put makeup on. All right. Well, you're going to have to come up with something, Claire. Right. Well, I need to go and get the kids ready for school first. Oh, it's, it is glowing. That's because you've been fiddling about with it. I have been fiddling about with it. touching it. I thought my life was supposed to be different. <laughs> I thought, like, you get on television and stuff and you become a celebrity. Well, and then suddenly, like, you enter this new world where nothing... Well, where you, everyone's got abs. You need to be in <laughs> the secret celebrity club. Where the they secret to, celebrity like, club. I know, they all and... they all hang out with each other and stuff and <coughs> cosmetologists and we don't have all we don't have all that. Don't have the access, do we? No, I've got grey hairs. I need to. I've just bought a box dye. I thought I would have like a down your box. No, I thought I'd have like a hairdresser, a personal hairdresser. Yeah, by now. a living hairdresser. Yeah, someone a, a hairdresser that lives in one of the wings of your great big house. Yeah. What's the, where? What? Isn't working out, Do you know, I don't think that life does exist. I think there's people that benefit from making, like people off the television and stuff, I think there's people that benefit from making other people think that that life exists. But I think you get on TV and stuff, and your life doesn't change. It just stays exactly the same. you still got to go to the, to the tip. I don't know, I feel like people have got people for that. Do you reckon? Where'd you get a, where'd you get a person from? Right, I gotta go feed Jude. Right, you go and feed Jude. I'm gonna um I don't know what to do about this. Am I in that? That's the first time you've been on this vlog, by the way. Oh well, that's where I then. You need to uh you need to catch up. What do I do about this spot? What the hell do I do about that? Let me know in the comments next time I get in a situation like this. Because it looks like you could pop it, but it's not budging and it is so sore. Oh well. Champagne problems, eh? <laughs> I think you might be able to tell. I've got something on my nose. So what the... I mean, do I have to just... put foundation all over my face, Claire? No, James, you won't be doing that. Just a light base? No. Just to smooth out the... No. The, um... The complexion. No. Bit of mascara would make my eyes pop, I think. Mm. And a bit of rouge on the cheeks. Just to make you look a bit fresh faced. As if I've been like climbing the Alps or something. I don't think for one second anybody would think you'd be doing that. No, but the idea is to look like you've been doing it. That's what the work that's how the world works. You don't actually do stuff, you just look like and pretend that you do stuff. Go on. To help me get the boys ready for school. I'm, you can see that... You, you can see that I'm having a bit of a crisis this morning, Claire. 
All right. Kind of day. Oh, we've got food. Uh, I've got to do the camera stuff. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, they look good. Hey, back off, buddy. Oh, have you, have you, have you, have you, bugsy them, bugsy them. Yep. Right, Whoa, let's pack Jones. this away, get the party started. Oh, I can't go another vlog without mentioning my favourite thing. Have I talked about this on the vlog yet, Claire? No, James, you have it. I've got, we've got an air fryer. It's the ninja one, it's the one that everyone uses. It's the ninja one. My God, do I love it. It is so good. I know, I know, I know, I was influenced. I mean, I don't know why the f you're putting that shit in your ninja. <laughs> did you get wraps, Claire? I did, get wraps. Because I'm going to make chicken dipper wraps for my, for my tea today. Wait, can't do it. Well, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood, that's all. Speaking of which. He's up for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, because they're dead for the dog. <laughs> um, <laughs> No. I didn't even see that shit. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. What's happened to your wee pal? Oh, I know. I, I saw that. Has he been dead this whole time? Is he dead? He's dead. Oh. He's not, is he? He's dead, mate. He's brown bread. Oh. Oh, no. Not dead. Hold on. One, two. <laughs> I think he's dead. I think that was just, um... Second wind. No, no, no. I think that was just... You know like how some insects have a very sort of basic nervous system and they twitch about and stuff even though they're dead? I think that's what that might have been. Well, that is barbecue, that is. I thought it would be a nice, maybe, next Thursday night, once on the, everybody's back at school. Well, you stick that on the Traeger, Claire. Get some rub on it. I'll put it in the oven. No, you put it on the I'm Traeger. I'm not leaving that. That's mine, right? You want to cook your beef joint, you buy your own beef joint. I bought that. I'll be making that in the oven with some nice baby potatoes and gravy. Baby? Yeah. Baby potatoes? Yeah. You weirdo. Right, put that down and help me then! Alright, alright. Do I have to? Yes. Can I not just go upstairs this? and... This is full. Can I not just go upstairs and play video games? Something smells in here. Oh! Right, Whoa. I mean, I do need a little bit of help here again. We're all right, we're coming to help you. Busy while we're about to do this. Well, I'm already shooting, so people... <laughs> There's a little uh, behind sneak peek oh, behind the curtain. I just don't like to stand here and go, hello. I like to look, look, look busy. Uh, I usually like to like start emptying the dishwasher. Well, we were busy and then I was talking nonsense and you said, right, well, we should be vlogging this. Yeah. What you got there, Claire? Oh, the old pumpkin candles are coming out. Four candles? What's that from? Four candles. Oh, get out. Get out of the house. Get out of the house. Alan Partridge? No, get out. Jesus. Oh, my God. oh you've upset a lot of people. The end of the Nope. No. no. It's the two Ronnies, that one. Oh, I don't know about that. You don't know about the two Ronnies? I'm a young buck. I don't know about the two Ronnies. I'm going to a buck. James has been to the gym. I went to the gym this morning, not lifting anything at all, trying to get some cardio in. Um, cut that. Yeah. <laughs> cut that, cut that. I'm a bit upset about Come it. Come on, I've got to edit this. Okay, in other news, I think we've f***ed up dinner. Yes, no, you say we, and I appreciate that. Thanks, man. Mate, then. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Because, um, because... <laughs> Shall I move all this great stuff if we're talking about cooking a nice healthy dinner? No, 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 because we're not cooking a nice healthy dinner, but also just letting Greg's know that we're... Still here. We, we do, we, we are. Still getting it done. We're genuine customers. Yes, so I messed, I'm I think get I've messed up. I think I've messed up. Get your meat out. Yeah, get my meat out. Just the bog standard beef joint. So I thought, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll put some dirty cow from Angus and Oink and let that sit on it for a little while. I've left it for a day. I just thought to Claire, just for a second, oh, I don't think you're supposed to do that with beef because I think, uh, I think you're supposed to just maybe 
put some rub on it half an hour before you're about to cook it. There is still quite a lot. What is that? That's good? all the moisture coming out. That's all the uh, moisture coming out. So it's going to be dry. It's going to be dry. Uh, I, I like it dry. Okay, good. For you. It smells amazing. It does smell good. Um, but I think I've dried out this beef because I've left it in here for a, for a day. Well, I'll just make a big old pot of gravy, shall Yeah, I? we're going to need a lot of gravy to go with that. So I'm in charge of the meal. Apart from the gravy, Claire has to do the gravy because she does good gravy. Claire said, shall I do some potatoes? I said, don't worry about the potatoes. I've got you covered with potatoes because I've got some smash, which you, you know I love. Yeah. So we're going to have this smash and gravy. Are you dribbling already? Yeah, because the smell of it is... I can hear you swallowing. It smells really, really good. I've been carrying this vlog. Have you? Yeah. I've been busy. So, do you want to put this back in the fridge or do you want to leave it out now? Yeah, maybe leave it out now. But, that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to hang out. We're going to have some dinner. So... Go on then. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> Something to help us out, exactly. Off your f Come back when, we, when we've got the... No, don't go anywhere. No. no yeah, you're not supposed to do that, are you? Don't go anywhere. Stay with us for What's, some... Uh, what do you think is going to be next, next cut? Either you at the laundrette or me cooking this thing. Got to have a shower. I absolutely stink. Right. You had a shower. Because you were saying last night how badly you were smelling of big O. Young Claire. <laughs> I didn't have a shower. The dog, the dog can smell you. I didn't, actually, she's going to jump up at that me. She won't. What? She won't. <laughs> You'll get a bit. She'll definitely get a bit. Oh, yeah, she will. That's for tonight. You're going to get a bit. Don't you worry. You're going to love it. Anyway, we'll catch up with you later for a bit of barbecuing. Probably a little beer. Mm -hmm. It is Monday, but it's been a long weekend. Yeah. So, see you in a minute. Suck my balls. No? Right, see you later guys. Why are you still filming? Oh, I was just trying to see if you were going to say something candid. Oh, I was going to say something. I was literally about to say what something What were you going to say? I was about to go, oh god, oh god, god. It was going to be babyish. Go on. I was literally about to go, oh god, I've got to have a shower now. Because <laughs> I do stink, but I really can't be bothered showering. Well, just do what I did. No, I, I can Just a I little... Can myself feel good by smelling oh, myself. I can't smell you. Just do a little under the armpits That's wash. Bad. Is it? Alright, well, I'll go and get washed then. Very vinegary. Ooh, vinegary. Adidas bottle. Because I go to the gym now. <laughs> right, it's getting nearly tea time. Windy day today. Uh, grass needs cut. I haven't been able to cut this because our, uh, our, what do you call it? Our garden bin is full. What am I setting this to? Oh, I can't remember, I forgot my phone. Set it for 220. I've been told I put it in at 220 for 20 minutes. And then 170 for as long as it takes. So don't know how long this is gonna take, but I'll let this, I'll let the Traeger come up to 220 and then I'll, I'll stick the meat, meat on. God. Dry. I've got no idea. I'll use that as the base for my gravy. Oh, should yeah. be pretty good. Well, I suppose I should cook it medium. Well, why don't we do, why don't we aim for well, well done and we might get it medium over you. Alright, fair enough. Well, listen, I've got my thermometer in there, it's in a thick You've pile. always got a thermometer in! <laughs> Stop, listen, I can't handle your logic. Whenever we have an argument, you're always saying stuff that makes sense <laughs> and is correct. Yeah. It's not working for me. Yeah, I know. I've got the thermometer in there, it will tell me what temperature it is on the inside. Yeah. I go by that, so hence... It should be what it's supposed to be. Okay. Medium rare. My roses are dead. I need to take them out. Look at them wilt in there. Roses are dead. Violets are glue. I've made a poem and done a poo.
really windy outside, Claire. Yeah. And that affects your barbecue cook. Does it? So I'm oh, a bit worried. Oh, you start with the excuses. No, I'm just. Here you go, my liege. Thank you very much, my noble steed. I dripped a bit on my belly. I don't want to sit like that again. No, don't show it on the camera. This keeps happening to James. He'll be sitting talking to sit. me. <laughs> Sitting talking I'll be sitting in the living room or something, I'll just stretch my arms up and then, <laughs> and then this happens and then I'll just sit there for about 10 then minutes. You keep, about... you keep talking to me and it's especially funny when you're moaning about that. I'll tell you what Claire, right? And I'm like, do I have a look at yourself there Jimmy? What are you saying? Oh, I got these hairs caught in my belt buckle yesterday. You did, that was very dramatic. I screamed. You did scream. Oh, that was really sore. So, my, I've got my thermometer thing here, right? I've got it set for a high medium rare. Uh, about five minutes ago, it said, what, 40 minutes or something, didn't it? 29 minutes. 29 minutes or something. Anyway, in the space of about five minutes, it's gone from 29 minutes to 18 minutes. So, I'm just uh, finding it very difficult to trust. Apparently 19 minutes is to be done, so we'll see what it's like. Might be having a takeaway. There's some clean plates going on. Claire didn't hate it. It was probably just too well done, wasn't it? Maybe slightly, uh, which is rare for me to say. I know. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> gotta learn to trust that meter probe. Yeah. Better. Next time I will. Bath and bed, I think, Jude. What bed? I just got in. <laughs> From school. So you wish you had wished your... Well, I'm gonna go to bed in 30 minutes. No, you're not. So. That's bad.